Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Kaiserreich as the United States of America. Um, I was originally going to record some more Oblivion tonight, but I, after having faffed about with that in the construction set, uh, for reasons you will not find out yet, uh, for quite a while, I'm a bit sick to death of it actually, So, and I'm kind of tired of procrastinating over this too, so let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, now then. May 30th, 1940 is the current date. I believe this is the latest save game. It's a bit cluttered on the save game menu list, so uh, let's have a look what's going on in the world. Uh, the war is still going on in Europe. The French are quite clearly winning, which I hadn't really expected, but there it is. Uh, these The Danubian Confederation are kind of staying out things. Russia is... Uh, they're also at war with, um, hang on a minute, this is all very, yeah, they're also at war with the Commune of France and stuff. Uh, it's just kind of bad because I'm just, I've just, just thought that, um, the Commune of France trample all over Germany. Uh, and Lithuania and, and the United Baltic Duchy. Uh, uh, you know, um, uh, and uh, White Ruthenia as well, and then make their way to Russia, we're going to have problems. Um, you know, big problems, because I don't think Russia, unlike the Russia in real life that stood up to the Germans in World War II, this Russia, no, no, no. No, they will not be able to stand up to a French assault. So, I, we, we kind of need to act fast-ish. Um, to do, you know, to do something. And we're going to join the Entente, I've decided. I think I already said so much anyway. We're going to sign up with Canada and everyone. We'll probably get joined by the Germans if they get defeated. Because that, that, that usually happens. They join the Entente. Um, or the other way around. I'm not sure which. And uh, we're going to have to... First, basically, I think, take back Britain. That's going to be the first thing we do. However, that's going to be made much, much easier because... Well, first thing we need to do is get Iceland. Uh, but after that, we just have to. We can go straight into Norway, and the reason for that is that Norway is a puppet of the Union of Britain. Uh, normally, it's a lot harder to actually attack Britain because you know you can't get bombers to fly out all the way from Iceland and stuff like that. But you can just about manage it from Bergen in Norway. Uh, sometimes you have to you have to capture like Lerwick or something, and then build an airbase on it, and it's all very time consuming and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, you have lots of problems with convoys and things and uh, but it, anyway the plan will basically be to take Norway which will take like all the 10 seconds probably and then mount some sort of amphibious invasion of northern England maybe Scotland. Uh, we're talking massive though there was going to be the you know uh, you know amphibious assaults, coastal bombardments um, Yeah, you know, paratroopers bombing from the air, all sorts of crazy crap, because uh, it, Britain's pretty difficult to invade in Kaiserreich. I've tried it before when I did a campaign to Canada. Um, it's very tricky, even with marines and stuff, so hopefully, though, being America with our rather large industrial capacity, etc., we should be able to pull it off. Um... Oops, I think I just accidentally cut a bit of the recording there. Uh, anyway, so let's just get started. Let the thing refresh itself. There we go. I was going to say, 325 industrial capacity looks more like it, as opposed to 100 and something it just listed then. It's because it hasn't refreshed yet. Let's have a look at our sliders. Oh, we need reinforcements, apparently. Uh, let's leave it at that. And we need a hell of a lot of upgrades, too. Well, that's okay. We'll do that. Supplies, we need 14. Uh, production, we need zero for the minute. I'm going to keep that ticking over. I would like to upgrade the crap out of my stuff. After all, uh, the King Empire annexed Tibet. Oh dear. Oh yeah, so, okay, the Chinese appear apparently are, have grown unbelievably massive. Uh, at least they haven't allied with Japan. Because that could be quite nightmarish. 
and they do that sometimes. How did they get all this over here? That's mental. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it looks like China's a rising power in the east. Um, Japan's not really doing a whole lot other than still constantly slugging it out with uh, Russia. Which is not going to help Russia once the French arrive. Also, the Chinese are at war with Mongolia, so that they're probably going to get this too. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about them. But uh, how, do they like us very much? No, they don't like us very much. Bother. I'm hoping maybe we can get the Danubians on our side at some point as well. And obviously the Russians are too... Uh, yeah, maybe Finland as well, I don't know. We're going to need all the help we can get, basically. And the Italians. And maybe the Ottomans too, actually, for that matter. But they don't like us very much, so I'm not going to count on that. But yeah, that's the basic plan for uh, what we're going to do. Oh yeah, also people, lots of people have been saying, INVADE MEXICO! Uh, and to that I say, look at my descent. Look at it. 17%, that's intolerable. But that said, yes, we probably do need to do something about Mexico because, you know, we can't exactly go off and fight the syndicalists in Europe when they're still sat in our own backyard, after all. So, you know... We will do something about them, but it's got to wait first. Like, our descent is just far too high at the minute. Far too high. Uh, it needs to uh, be lowered a great deal before we go charging off to war once again. So, yeah, let's unpause and just let it all tick over and see how we get on. Oh, shit's upgrading already. Good, good, good. Increased intelligence funding. I don't think I really wanted to do that, but never mind. Ah, yes, this is actually worth pointing out. Oh, research into basic medium tank is done. Fine, fine, excellent. You may now research something else. Um, artillery 1940, I guess. Mm, who can put on that? Uh, Remington Arms. They can research that. Um, oh yeah, this is worth pointing out. I was going to say, um, I have finally fixed the problem with the mismatching icons and stuff by installing a brand new icon pack, as you can see. Uh, it basically just has a simplified little logo for each unit type, along with the country flag in the background. I quite like it. It's nice and simple. It gets the point across. Uh, you know. It does its job, basically. Uh, only problem is we now have kind of the generic uh, pictures here. So look, if I click on Marines, we actually have a picture of a bunch of Japanese Marines. So in that sense, I suppose it's not many, much more accurate. Look, they're basic fighter. We've got a bunch of Russian Spitfires. Um, but I don't particularly care. At least uh, the B-17 matches up. Um, so yeah, not really a big deal, I guess. But at least these little icons uh, match, because you, you, those are the ones you see the most of. So, you know, that's all I really care about at the end of the day, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, there's so much stuff we need to build. And yet so much stuff that needs upgrading as well. Oh, something's happening. Transamur has been established again by Japan. Why? Why bother? Look, it's all over the place. Um, the Caribbean Federation announces their government uh, announces repay our credit. What happened to them recently. Well, good for them. God, the Caribbean Federation could be the, probably the worst faction you could possibly play as in this game. I mean, seriously, they are literally all just these brown islands around here, that's all they have, other than maybe th these two bits here. Isn't that, that's just rubbish, you know? They have 17 IC, it's just, why would you play as them? And yet, the guys that are guys have put, you know, put, you know, events for them and stuff anyway, you know? So, I suppose that's cool in a way, but even so... Okay, we've got better radar now, apparently. Which is, uh, good, I suppose. Uh, we could research some infantry equipment, actually. 
Yeah, let's do that, actually. And who can we get to do that? Louisiana State University. Go! First bomb group has been upgraded to basic tactical bomber. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I went around uh, completely renaming the entire Air Force. Uh, they're all based at Little Rock now, um, just so I know where they all are. Uh, so I've got each of them numbered by Air Force and then numbered by like fighter group or bomb group or whatever. Uh, it's just just to make it easier for me when I'm looking at them all in like this view um, or this view. Because when it all when you've got a big air force and like a war starts and you've got them all off doing different missions, you find it's much easier to actually just make them do stuff from this view than actually to click on them on the map. So it helps to because you can do it. The option is there and it's there to be used. So you can rename your little individual stacks of units to ones that you will be able to you know uh, recognize easily. And I recommend you do it really. Oh good lord, the Germans are completely collapsed. Coming into France, selected that they will absorb Luxembourg into France, then the destiny of Luxembourg. So Luxembourg is screwed. And it's the 4th of July, so our descent was lowered by 1%. That's nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just looking back at the comments as well. Apparently, John Nance Garner is literally the worst choice for president I apparently could have made <laughs> prior to all the civil war nonsense but never mind I was playing it blind basically so it's to be expected really uh, and the social democrats won the election in Finland apparently dirty leftists oh no I'm being a bit tongue in cheek there but yeah um, on a more realistic note it might make them a little less inclined to join us come to think of it the commune of France had Bastille Day And loads of stuff is still upgrading. Loads and loads of stuff. Uh, let me just... No, wrong, wrong thing. Ah, right, now we're down to 131 upgrades from around 200, which is good. Stuff is upgrading nice and quickly, which is what I like to see. Uh, my frame rate's pretty rubbish, though, mind you. But that's probably because I'm recording and at maximum speed at the same time, so it's a bit slow like that. Never mind, I hope you all don't mind. When I slow it down and such, it all, and when I pause it, obviously it goes back to normal. I was kind of hoping Germany would last a bit longer than this, but never mind. I guess they're going down in 1940 a bit like the French did in real life. Now I just hope the Russians can hold out for a while, but I really doubt it. And, uh,. Early underway replenishment. Oh, 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 that's really good, actually. That's fantastic, in fact. Um, means we can actually get our troop ships out further. But also... Um, should we upgrade our... Yes, actually, we should upgrade to carrier 1940. We're going to have to build some aircraft carriers soon, so... The Brit Union of Britain's fleet is actually really kind of on the large side, but hopefully our fleet, which is pretty big, com combined with the uh, Canadian one, can uh, take them on, but y it might not be the case, you never know, so um, I'm kind of prepared to build more stuff. The French hopefully will have no fleet whatsoever. Basic field artillery is dunsies, dunsies, dunsies. We need 1940 naval now, because we're going to have to build lots of marines. Lots and lots of marines. Marine Corps Base Pensacola. Brilliant. That's like actually perfect. There are so many uh, countries you play. You can play as that don't have like a marine a tech team. Billy Bishop has died in an accident. Oh no! I can't quite remember who Billy Bishop is, but uh, oh no, it's all the same. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I'm going to keep out of the war for now. We will join the Canadians and the Australians, etc. when the time is right. Although I'd quite like to just beat the crap out of Mexico first. Nikolai Maklakov apparently just died in Russia. Oh no. Again, more people I have no idea who they are. 